Hi, this is Challen with Parenting in the Technological World. Now sometimes when we're dealing with our children and they're using technology, we sometimes get into little arguments and uh, sometimes you need a good argument just to stay in the game. And so what are some of the uh, reasons why you shouldn't sit there all day, and I'm talking to you adults too, why you shouldn't be sitting there looking at your personal handheld device all day? Well, you know, through arguably millions of years of human development, our eyeballs are meant to look near and look far. And so uh, with the development of technology, you are essentially locking in your eye muscles or the muscles that are controlling your eyes to, to focus up at a point about a foot away from your face. And you know, as if you locked any part of your body in one position, as if you were being tortured <laughs> or if you were in prison, you're going to have atrophy you know, and uh, the muscles will lose flexibility. And so this is, now you can tailor, tailor this argument uh, to your own, um, to your own taste, but you know, you, after millions of years of human development, your eyes are meant to exercise at near and far. So if you're going to sit there with uh, technology that's only been developed within the last half a generation, naturally you're going to have long-term um, health issues that we've never had before. And so I often tell my, uh, my son, you know, your generation is a guinea pig for this technology. I mean, you don't think about it that way, but you are truly a guinea pig, like an experiment that when we do not know what the long-term uh, problems will be as a result of this you know, this massive influx of t technology. So as great as it is and as, as many valuable um, activities we can think of to use our handheld devices for, you know, beware, you know, this is yet, um, you know, we're, we're setting a stage for future problems of health that we haven't seen yet. So that's uh, one argument that you can tailor to your best use without being mean and uh, just being educational and to counter some of the arguments that you might hear from your very wise child. So this is Challen, and I hope you get some value from this, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.